Alice, and I'm here at the International Culinary Center. In class, we learned a really delicious sauce to go with a nice piece of steak. It's a red wine sauce called Borderlays, and I thought that I would teach you that today. So first, you want to start by getting all of your ingredients into a pot. Just some red wine. Some finely diced shallots and peppercorns. The peppercorns, you want to crunch them up. Just use a spice grinder or the coarse setting on your pepper mill. Go right in. And then a bay leaf and some thyme. You're just going to try and reduce the sauce until it's a syrup, reduce the wine until it's syrupy. After about 10 minutes, your wine is going to be so reduced, it's going to look very much like a syrup. It's going to be barely anything left in the pan. You're just intensifying the flavor of the red wine. And then you want to go ahead and add your stock. You're going to do the same exact thing that you did with your wine. You're going to put it over a medium flame and you're going to let it reduce down until it's nice and thick. You're going to strain your ingredients out and we have one here that's been going for a little while. As you can see, it's significantly reduced. To make the sauce even more indulgent than it already is, add a little bit of butter, but you make sure to take it off the heat before you do this. Otherwise, the butter will separate from your sauce. Try to keep the butter cold before you do this. Put it in and just swirl it around off of the heat. Once your butter has fully melted, you're going to have this rich and delicious sauce for your steak. You can put it with any kind of red meat you like. I personally like it just on a piece of steak. For this recipe and to continue following me through culinary school, stay with us at What's Cooking on CBSNews.com.